Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well. Um, just a quick announcement, I will no longer be doing personal readings. Uh, so if you need to get any kind of reading on something that you've heard, you can go over to my Gumroad account. The link will be underneath the video where you will be able to purchase an extended reading, okay? All right, you guys. So let's get into this. Let's see what these messages are. Please be mindful. They're general messages. I do upload daily. Not every message is going to resonate for you um, or some might, some might not, some might happen, some might not. So keep that in mind. Take it with a grain of salt. Okay, Virgo. All right. So this is a channel for Virgos and Virgos only. If you're new, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Hey, everybody in the chat. Um, all right. Let's get into this here. What are the messages here for you, Virgo? Okay. So we've got passion, insane chemistry, liking each other equally, and having fun. So a passionate new connection coming upon you here. That's kind of cool. Let me see if I can get this a little brighter. Oh, that might help a little. All right, let's see what else. So you've got passion, keys on a ring, many options, decisions, unconventional, uh, hmm, string along, one night stand. Okay, might have three options coming in for you in July, okay? A lot of passion. Perhaps a lot of dating, um, several options, or a few options, a decision, um, maybe some one night stands, and you know, don't get on your high horse. Some of you do it. Uh, don't judge other people. Everybody's got their path and their journey in life. Let's see. And clock, okay, needing time, time cycles, time to heal and progress. So clock's a tick in here, Virgo. Um, it looks like you're going to have some passionate connections with some people, some different people in um, July. All right. A lot of uh, chemistry with, with some different people, um, people liking you, you liking them, um, having a good bit of fun. You might go out there and start dating. Um, but I feel like... <laughs> gosh Virgo the message spirit just told me is that you're gonna be setting your alarm or um, what time you're going out with this person and then what time you're going out with the next person looking at the the clock uh, you could be dating one person going on a date having dinner at 7 and then meeting another person later at 10 to go to a movie that's what I feel like is go <laughs> Virgo you're gonna be definitely timing things here with some people that you may be dating uh in july some different options okay wow all right let me see let me get a couple of what's going on here i'm gonna i'm gonna take a look at your energy what the heck is going on here with you okay so there's a king of wands okay seven of swords knight of cups wow okay so you've got a player showing up here male or female energy um someone who's like in with the love and then poof they're gone okay um this is a one night stand energy playing out here and i'm just free following this re free ball free balling do i want to say that free uh, free what the heck i don't think it's free balling <laughs> free uh, whatever I'm just going by the seat of my pants here with this reading. And so there's a King of Wands here. These feel like new people, okay? This King of Wands is, you know, kind of in one minute and then out the next, given the love, um, prince or princess charming, um, charismatic kind of person, very, very, very sexual type of a person. This is not somebody for you to be settling down with here, okay? So I feel like you're going to be dating some different people here. This is just someone who's you're probably going to have fun with. If you want to have fun, if you want to take it to a one night stand level, this is what this person is about. Um, point blank period, okay? Okay. Okay, so now you've got an air sign showing up as well. All right. 
Um, so this, okay, this is so weird how this reading is going. This air sign, I feel like is going to be showing up. This, so listen, you guys, it's a general reading. These could be people that you already know. They could be people that you uh, are currently talking to, or they could be new people showing up. You've got an air sign here. As I said, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, I feel like there's going to be a feeling of completion, emotional joy, happiness, long-term security. But then I feel like with the tower here, it's this whole thing is just going to blow up it, it's not going to happen and why because this uh air sign is going to surprise you with a big fat nasty mouth um something that they're going to say maybe some critical uh or criticism or they're going to say something that is just give you some kind of truth that you don't need to be having it's not constructive criticism i feel like it's just going to be a surprise that comes out of this person's mouth and it's going to leave a bad taste in your mouth. And I feel like you're going to be like, well, that's not someone that I want to connect with long term. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. I feel like we're getting a third person energy here. Because I said it was taking a look at you. But I feel like, well, it is taking a look at you. But it's how these people are coming in. Virgo, I feel like some advice coming to you right now is if you're, I wouldn't get too heavily involved with anyone in July. If you're going to date and just have fun and go out and enjoy yourself, I don't see anybody coming in here really committing. I feel like you're just going to do your own thing, enjoy your life, do whatever you need to do, um, be bold, brave, okay? There may also be an earth sign as well who is definitely going to be chasing after you. But I feel like when the work comes first for this person, so you, I, I, Virgo, I don't feel like you should, there's any commitment or anything like that here. Um, I feel like dating, go out, have some dinners, do some hiking, have some fun. If you want to you know, take somebody, invite them up for a nightcap, that's up to you. But I'm not seeing anything here in July. This feels like a singles, just we start off with a singles. I guess there was something here that you needed to know. Um, and I'm not seeing any major commitment coming in. Now I know some of the other readings were different, okay? That's fine. Um, that may not be for you. But as far as singles go, I just kind of feel like you're... You may find yourself just saying, no, nah, I don't think I'm going to commit to anybody here. I feel like I'm just going to stay focused on my work and the things that I'm doing in my life and, you know, everything else is going on and I'm not going to get involved with anyone in particular just yet. It's too soon. Some of you might say it's too soon. Or you just might be looking at your prospects and saying none of them are prospects, okay? Um, so let me get into the rest of the reading here. I didn't, like I said, I'm free balling. <laughs> so I didn't expect that it was going to go that way. Okay. So obviously there's a message for somebody here. Okay. So you've got hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, a broken heart, um, and mass, not showing true feelings. That kind of sits a little bit with yesterday's reading that you were holding back your feelings and not really showing anything here. Okay. So you're rebuilding a broken heart. That's for sure. You're in separation, um, or there's a breakup. Some of you are grieving. Some of you are feeling lost. Um, some of you are trying to seek answers. You might be interrogating somebody about why a relationship ended or trying to figure it out. Um, and some of you are just persistently working on building yourselves, okay? And not really showing anything. You might have been with somebody who is gaslighting you, not showing their true feelings, hiding their personality, or pretending, okay? Which can be deceptive. Somebody was deceptive, and now you're being deceptive, and 
you may not be showing anybody anything, all right? So let me take a look and see what the energy is with this person. You're definitely rebuilding, okay. So I have the hangman, okay, the hierophant, seeing things differently about a relationship in yourself and what you want going forward in your life, okay? So you're on your own here, Virgo, okay? You're taking a different view when it comes to marriage, a different view of conventional expectations, conformity, um, definitely showing up in the Empress energy where you're going to have your cake and eat it too and you don't give a shit who has a problem with that. I definitely feel like it's your turn. Your thought process is it's my turn and I'm going to have what I want because this is what I deserve, right? So your mindset is like completely different. Yeah, you're ready for new love. And you're going to go through um, a lot of mackerel until you find that beautiful, lovely singing dolphin, okay? Which is just, it's just water energy, I'm feeling. You're going to go through a lot of frogs before you find your prince or princess charming. And I feel like with that singles reading in July, there's going to be some people showing up for you. And I think think you're going to go out on some dates and set some things up, you know, but I don't, I feel like you're going to, I don't even know, but there is new love though, new, new love, really good love. If you go traveling and go on some kind of journey, look, you have two aces here. Um, if you go on, if you do any traveling in July, it could be holiday travel, maybe the 4th of July, or you go somewhere or even you're out solo looking after your ninth cup trying to find that east cup there's two opportunities you got opportunities it's one and the same um some of you might be traveling for love some of you might be traveling for work okay but i see some really beautiful opportunities showing up here um one is going to make you feel emotionally joyous and the other is going to make you feel um It's weird, like I wanna say alive. They just said it's gonna make you feel alive. Now, who is this person? Oh, it's you, Virgo, falling in love with yourself. How about that, okay? Hmm, okay. Now for some of you, um, hmm. There is a King of Wands showing up here, and I don't feel like it's that King of Wands we saw before, okay? Um, this King of Wands is coming in. This person is coming in and wants to have... Well, they're coming in very truthful, I'll say that, but Virgo, you're kind of like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You're in like with the, the uh, Seven of Cups, kind of like... I don't know. I have all these options. I don't know. Because I see you're going to have a lot of options in love. But there is one particular person here. Let me see. Okay. Oh, boy. A very sexual person. Similar energy to the first King of Wands. But this feels like a new person. So they're, they're the, obviously the same element, so it's fire. So they have a very similar energy. But the difference is that this person, um, I just said, okay, Knight of Cups, there you go. This person, oh, Six of Cups. You knew this person when you were um, from the past, when you were a child maybe, or you knew them before, okay? You may not have been in a relationship with them, but you knew them before. Now for some of you, this could be an ex, but I'm just gonna leave that there because we're all done talking about these exes, right? You wanna talk about the exes? You can go listen to the other videos for July. But um, you knew this person before and you're not too sure about them. You're not too sure about if you wanna commit to this person. And this person will marry you, okay? And and they're not, I don't see that, because the love proposal offer comes in, but I don't see that this person is like, oh, we're going to do it up, have a beautiful wedding and, you know, the whole nine yards and, you know, no, it's like, okay, yeah, I want to marry you. Come on, let's go down to the courthouse. Like they're, it's like right away, okay? This person 
you've got three aces in this reading and the aces as far as timing represent immediately hmm but what's going on with you why are you like you don't know you're not sure let me see what's going on hmm maybe it's a leo that you're not sure about um hmm some of you it's like you don't know if this person is open or if this person why do you feel that way you knew them before okay now we have aries oh um okay so for some of you there may be an energy that you're like well i don't know if if they if this person i see i see a father figure or a parent with a child either they might want children you might find that out and then you might be like oh i don't know about that or they have a child or children and there might be a concern if the children are gonna if there's an approval issue by children as well that's interesting um yeah we've got some we have some teen boys i'm seeing here there may be a little girl or a little boy as well a blend of a family a mix of a family that's what they're telling me or young young sons and they could be any age really pages are more so though um maybe they're students maybe they're in college or something pages are more along the lines of like oh um an energy but i'm also hearing somebody maybe you have someone on your mind who's like in the police or military or something and you're not there's a there's a lack of being sure because of the seven of cups or too many choices you may not know what's the best path to go here okay um, listen, Virgo, you definitely have somebody coming in here that would just marry you in a heartbeat. They would just, whatever it takes here. That's what I'm, that's the energy that I'm picking up with that night. This person, like it's already been decided. I feel like they knew you before. Maybe you don't know who they are, but they knew you before you guys crossed paths before this person knew back then that you were going to be there plus one that you but there was something what was holding this person oh you were holding this person back virgo you were holding somebody back because you weren't sure or you had just like you went into the supermarket and you had 10 boxes of cake mix and it was overwhelming and you couldn't figure out which one and then you had to stand there and read all the ingredients and then compare all the prices and then finally you were just like oh screw it i'll just go buy a pre-made cake you know some of you just got really overwhelmed with trying to figure something out here or trying to sort out something you know i feel like you really tried to get a new perspective um but maybe wondering if this person um if you knew them before was even if they were non-committal there for some of you they may maybe if you knew them before ghosted you okay or you felt like that energy would play out that this person would ghost you or that they had other options or that they had other things i don't know virgo i've never really seen you like this here you're pretty sure about what you want most of you you know i mean you definitely know that you want a new love start here but this person virgo some of the question is this person can show up as the king of kings or the queen of all queens there was a question about it is this person do they still act are they immature does this person act immature are they childish um this person thinks of, of them as a king and uh, or a queen and you're looking for an emperor or an empress that's what you want but they view you as not being good enough for you and you might be viewing your viewing them as you not being good enough for them it's a weird message it's a weird message and this is what i feel like is a new energy that's starting to come about but they knew you in the past or at least they think about you still is what i'm hearing they, this person still thinks about you yeah and 
um, definitely, definitely, definitely wants to sleep with you. No doubt. Okay. Definitely. Now, I don't know if you were together before, but they want to be again. Um, and if you weren't, they dream about it or they think about it. I don't know, Virgo. Is this person very religious? Are they like high on religion? Not, maybe a little bit of spirituality, but also um, structured religion as well. They might be. Or you might be wondering if they are or which one they are. If they have any, you know... Um, you know, are they, are they like a conformist based on religious beliefs? Are they Republican <laughs> or are they Democrat? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I feel like some of that might be playing out here. I don't know. You have a lot of questions. Uh, is it that you don't trust? Hmm. Okay, Sagittarius energy. Pisces, Taurus, Aries, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo... Um, Libra. Hmm. We don't have a Gemini and we don't have an Aquarius. Maybe it'll show up. Yeah, I feel like you're, you're in this position of like, okay, I'm not sure. Some of you I can hear you. I don't know who this person is. Okay. And if you don't know who this person is, that's fine. This energy is playing out in July. This person, like I said in the beginning, this is a new situation coming up. If you don't know who they are, they know who you are. Just keep that in mind. Or they may feel like you've met in a past life when they show up, but you're questioning their behavior okay i feel like this person when you guys connect there's this very strong physical sexual attraction between the two of you um this person views you as being much higher grade than they are you may wind up viewing this person as being much higher grade than you are almost as if wow you're too good to be true both of you saying about each other But at the same time, I also feel like they're very sure about you, but you're not so sure about them, okay? So you might just be like, okay, well, do you have kids? And how is the kids going to come together? Virgo, you're probably worrying or overthinking um, in July, okay? Um, and for some of you, you're, you're in the process of rebuilding at this time. You're going through heartbreak. This person was involved with someone in the past, who um, tore them to shreds. The very same thing that happened to you happened to them. But they're much more aggressive <clears throat> in getting back up on the horse. They have, they're fearless. They have no fear. You're much more like, oh, I don't know. They're indecisive. All right, let me see. Um, let me take a look. I want to see... What is this Chinese sign of this person? We have to know. We have to know. Okay. Year of the dragon. That's feisty right there. Year of the rat. Year of the rooster. Dragons are feisty. Year of the horse. Okay. Year of the dog. All right. Rooster again. That's twice. Roosters are cocky. Okay, year of the snake. Year of the goat. Goats are very sheepish, so I don't know what's going on there. They must it's a fire goat, maybe. And we have snake again. We have rat again. Oh my gosh. And a year of the monkey. Okay, so it's one of them. Or it's both of you. Um, or it is um none. All right, let me get a couple of moon pie messages. I have to see. So, um, yeah, I feel like this person, I, I, so some of you, I don't know. I, I'm not picking up your energy towards them. I feel like as far as past goes, um, maybe that's because this was a past person and you've just completely put it out of your head. Or at least by July, you're going to be like, I, I don't know who you're talking about. I've forgotten all about that person. But that this other person coming in, 
already knows you whether you've had a relationship with them or not this might have just been for some of you they just said it could be that single person that you date in july who's kind of like they're in and then poof they're gone but then something happens this person um they're come they come back so you might not know who they are right now you could just start you could go on a date with them in july and you know whatever and then something happens with this person they like really want to date you like this person really wants to be with you okay but they're in the very beginning i feel like a lot of um i don't know in and out in and out in the beginning not serious just kind of goofing off or goofing around okay let me see Okay, a financial decision you're going to be making. Cupid's arrow, love messages, and travel. Okay. All right, Virgo, you got two. So right now you're in this position of like, you're focusing on your money right now, okay? Point blank period. You're not doing anything else. You're just focusing on your coin. The decisions, these are taking precedence in your life. These, these are priorities for you right now. And you're not doing anything else but focusing on that. And that's probably why if you're going to be accepting offers for dates or putting them out, putting yourself out there to go on dates, they're just going to take, they're going to be a take back seat because you've got other stuff going on. But you do have listen that energy is going to be playing out in love okay there is going to be like a, a lot of people showing up okay at least three and this person over here showing up in this reading is either going to be one of the three or it's going to be somebody new um or you know that you that knows you but that you don't really know okay that's why you're kind of with seven of cups kind of like hmm up in the air daydreams like hmm or thinking um is this who is you know like i don't know this person coming in virgo i just kind of feel like you're gonna be out of it a little bit <laughs> out of it a little bit when it comes to this person they, they might reach out to you and then you're like i'm sorry do i know you wait i think i remember you that's the energy i'm picking up okay you got a financial decision because you're trying to avoid financial loss. So July is definitely going to be a time for looking at the books um, to prevent some kind of financial loss or trying to figure out how you're going to get have money coming in. Okay. And some of you may have money coming in, but you may lose some somewhere. Okay. Oh, man. Cupid's arrows, love messages, travel, haste, speed, and travel. I'm telling you, love is coming in very fast in July, okay? Very, very quickly with what it looks like is a king of wands, okay? Very quickly. Um, you're not going to be too sure about this. Let me see. Oh, okay. Well, you're being asked to take a risk. What do you have to lose, Virgo? Starting over can be tough, but it's time to spread your wings. Don't overthink things. Um, okay. And good news about money. That's awesome. So whatever this financial struggle is for you at this time, you've got good news about money coming in. Why can't I think of that word? I was going to say free for all. It's a, it's just a, it's a free reading. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to do the, the the deep Celtic cross stuff, but I, f I feel like this person, like this person, this feels like the most predictive reading I think I've ever done. I'm going to get some love messages because I'm not feeling like a strong, strong emotional thing. Um, as far as like even looking deeply into this person, I don't feel like this person's very emotionally deep. I think they're very active, very physically active. Let me see what the love messages are here. I mean, they are coming in fast in July. Okay. Playfulness, a lot of playful energy. There you go. To recapture romance, allow your inner useful spirit of fun to shine. So this person comes in, they are very playful. They might be a monkey. You're the monkey. A very playful person. They like to do stuff. They like to have fun. Um, 
that's their priority. Right now, Virgo, your priority is work and making money. And this person's like, no, forget work. No, let's, you know, let's, let's go to the beach or let's, you know, let's go away for the weekend. Let's, you know, do something that's fun and active, physically active. This is how this person enjoys romantic activities. They like to do things. Okay, this could be the one, Virgo. All right, this is your person. It says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. You know this person. You may not remember them, but you know them. There's something about them. There's So listen, for some of you, there's... Um, the energy, I feel like... They know you, but listen, there's something here about the familiarity they're just telling me. There's some of you here may meet this person in July and it's gonna give the sense of like, man, I feel like I knew you before. There's something very similar to the two of you. It could be maybe you grew up in the same town and knew different people that were all connected. Um, are mutual friends or people like that you, for some of you you knew this person before you actually dated them for others this was somebody that you maybe you never met them before but looking at them you see yourself in them and they see themselves in you it's like a mirror image this is your person this is the person coming in now let me just tell you something you got release your ex, okay? This is, so I don't feel like, for some of you knew it before, but I don't feel like this is your ex. And I just wanna, I have to go off for a minute. Listen, you guys, when I give you these readings, right? If you've been in an abusive relationship, and I'm talking about someone from your past in these readings, don't leave me comments about how you're never going back to that person and in how could I make a reading like this for you? Cause I'm spending a lot more time. I'm gonna have to shut the comments off. So there's been a lot of spam lately, but listen, I'm, I'm the messenger here. I'm not telling you to go back to an ex. I, when do you guys ever hear me say that? Do I ever say, oh, just let them back in? No, if, if, you're, if your past connection, you are being gaslighted or someone was treating you bad, you know, don't rely on me to tell you what to do. I'm not the boss of your life. I'm giving you a tarot reading here. But if you already know that, that you're not going back to the person, that's great. I don't need to know that, right? That message is not for you. Now, for some of you, this could be someone from your past. Like I said, it's not your ex. You've released your ex and you're getting cookies and cake for that, okay? Because you let that person go, good for you. You're moving on. But when I'm looking at the past, I'm not always talking about your ex. I, How many people have been in your life in the past besides your ex? Probably hundreds of thousands. This is one of those hundreds of thousands. It's not your ex, okay? Um, it, your ex is your ex for a reason. And when it's done, it's done. But if your ex is coming back a changed person, which is the exception to the rule, it does not always happen. That's very rare. But if your ex is coming back as a changed person and there's a chance to repair it, by all means, go for it. We're not gonna judge. Nobody's saying nothing. I have no opinion. I don't even know who you are. But understand that when I give a general message here, if it's not for you, it's not for you. And maybe tomorrow, the next message will be you, will be for you, okay? So I just gotta, listen, I gotta put that, put that out there because I don't think some of you, I know most of you hear me, but there's some people who are not hearing me and they're um, getting a little out of hand, right? I'm the messenger. You don't go out and start beating the shit out of your mailman. Um, because he brought you your, your electric bill, do you? No, he's just bringing the message. That's it. All right, let me see. What is the other messages here for you? Okay, messages of love. Stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. Okay, there's definitely a new... Okay, denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. And that's for those of you I just spoke to. That's what this is. That's what this message is. Okay. Some of you are just, you need to detach from the energy. Because I know some of you are like, oh, I'm over my ex. And then you're sitting in the comments or the chats cussing them out for like 
20 minutes or whatever. And it's like, wait, if you were over your ex, you wouldn't even be speaking their name. You keep speaking their name into existence, which means you're keeping them alive. If you're done, you're done. When you're done, you're done. Okay. Let me see. I'm getting a little sassy here. I'm a little sassy today. Self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before doing anything. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before doing anything. And if your ex was cheated or cheating or treated you like shit, dump them in the garbage where whence they came from and move on. Okay? Put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen a relationship. See this person, this new person showing up here? I told you, they don't like to sit on the computer. They're not on their phones all day. They're not on the computers all day. This person is active and out living life. And with them, that's what, that's what life will be like with this person. They're a mover and a shaker. Very passionate, strong. See, I do feel like for some of you, this was that, that person that showed up in that first singles. I really do. Okay, some distance will help bring clarity. Okay. All right, you know what? This is all about your ex right here because we had release your ex. Clear your energy field. Okay, some of you really, listen, and we're just, I'm just gonna speak here now. This It's time, it's time to say. Some of you are sitting on that computer and you're stalking your ex. You're watching them on social media. You're stalking them to see if they're with somebody else or whatever's going on. You're not accepting, even if you didn't get uh, a closure, you're not giving yourself closure. Yeah, they're a poop stain for sure, but you got to let go. You seriously got to let go. You can't come into a reading, and I'm talking about singles, and then expect me to just hand you somebody on a silver platter. The universe is not going to bring you somebody while you're still holding on to your ex. While you're still looking to see what they're up to. You're keeping that shit alive. Okay? Put that damn computer away. Block that person. Get off social media if you have to. Disappear. Go off the radar and get back into your life and start living your life. Stop looking to see because half the time, everything that you're seeing online is false anyway. It's called perception management. And people only put stuff out there where it's a competition we're all competing to see who's got the better life right it's a waste of time you know if you're going to put anything out there put important things but you know oh if you're looking at your ex and they're with someone and they're you know um flying here and flying there and that they've got a happy life most likely it's bullshit because if it was so great and so happy, why are they posting it all over social media? Because everybody needs to see it. Nobody gives a shit. Everybody's on social media or wherever for their own. Some of you are not even on social media, so good for you. But people are only posting for themselves and, and exes. Perception management. I want you to think that everything going on in my life is great. I want you to think that I'm happy because people, nobody ever posts, oh, you know, my whole life's falling apart and my ex left me. Well, some do, but like... But why are you even doing that? That like, what is this? Okay, get away from that. Put your computer away, put your damn phone down, start blocking, R get rid of those stupid apps and stop logging in, okay? Strengthen relationship with yourself and with somebody else coming into your life, okay? Self-care, you need to clear out that energy field of that past person if you're trying to have single love because I know a lot of you are like, well, you know, I'm single, but I still haven't met anyone else. Well, there's something going on. There's a reason why. And I know we want to say, oh, there's divine timing and all. Well, yeah, that does play a role in bringing you the one and making two people meet. But there's people in your life. There's how many billions of people in the country you live in? Millions? Billions? I don't know. Your ex cannot be the only one. So get yourself out there. And I don't care. Just join, I don't know. Go out and pick up garbage off the side of the street. Whatever gets you connected with other people. Whatever you, you got to do. Nobody's going to fall at your door, right? You got to get out of denial here, Virgo. And, and I'm not speaking to all of you. Because I know my Virgos are very, very smart. I know you guys are smart. I know you're on top of things. I know you know what to do. And I know some of you are in here just for the entertainment. 
and we're just having a good time and I, that, I think that's good but for those of you who are bitching and moaning you know that you can't meet anybody you know you have free will you can choose to be happy any day you don't have to be in the situation you're in you're choosing to be in that situation you're choosing to keep that going in your life and you and you know what as if you've been through trauma or you've been through any kind of difficult situation yeah that will happen and that happens to everybody everybody has some kind of difficulty there's a post that i posted um and i think somebody said it was a post from bruce lee but i don't believe bruce lee said that uh, this thing but it says don't speak negatively about yourself even as a joke your body doesn't know the difference words are energy and they cast spells that's why it's called spelling change the way you speak about yourself and you could change your life what you're not changing you're also choosing so what you're not changing by default you're choosing so what do you got to change in your life right you, you've got this uh, integrity card. Does the situation align with your values and morals? I know somebody's going to post in here. I'm probably going to disable the comments. Like I said, there's a lot of spam. Somebody's going to post in the comment. Just read the damn cards and stop preaching. But you know what? That person can F off. And I see comments like that. I generally just delete you and hide, the, hide you from my channel. Um, if you want to get your own, if you don't come here and you don't like the messages, just click off. There's how many tower readers on YouTube? Give me a break stability this relationship can stand the test of time you got to give this opportunity a chance to come your way but you got to let go of whatever your ex stuff is going on and like i said in the beginning i see you doing that here you're healing your heart but if like i said if i'm talking about an ex and that's not your ex you let that person go and you're done with that person then this isn't about you it because if you don't want them back it doesn't matter what they do if you don't want them back, it doesn't matter what they do because they can't get in if you don't want them back. It's not like I'm saying, oh, your ex is going to show up and then force you to fall in love with them. You have free will. If you don't want to, don't. It's quite simple. Okay. I went off on my rant a little bit there, didn't I? Just a little. Just a little. Um, all right. We're going to get... A couple of charms and then I'm gonna be done because this reading went on a little bit longer than I expected oh all right what do we got okay we got green leaf <laughs> cure leaf marijuana little weed maybe I don't know if this is like a pot plant a leaf, a leaf of some sort maybe somebody's smoking or um, doing something with green leaves green leaf i'm hearing is a green piece green leaf okay maybe you're rolling one or who the heck knows i don't even know um you also have an airplane so there's travel happening here um so maybe somebody's a pilot or works on for an airline doesn't have to be a pilot but works for an airline um some of you maybe at the airport listening to this or you're heading to the airport going somewhere i thought we saw vacation or traveling in uh july fourth um, of july as well maybe somebody you were flying united airlines or your trip's going to be canceled or something i'm um, just hearing united um or you, you you're boarding the plane maybe you're boarding this plane right now okay okay so you've got wings okay you've got a wing okay <laughs> for some of you the pl the flight's going to be delayed because there's an issue with the wing no the wing is not going to fl crack off while you're like thirty-five thousand feet in the, the air so i'm not saying that um that is they're just giving me a, a message that there's <laughs> something going on with the wing or for others you're going to get that wing seat you're going to be sitting in the wing in a wing seat okay and some of you are going to meet somebody named jack on a plane or jack or john on a plane in the wing seat that's what they're saying the wing seat the window wing seat 
on a plane, if you're flying on a plane, or that person is flying into you towards you, a Jack or a John. Okay, this person, um, this person was uh, born in the year of the rabbit for some of you. Okay, year of the rabbit, a Jack or a John, or a Jackie or Jacqueline. I'm hearing, and maybe they like to smoke weed. <laughs> All right, this message, I can't with this. Let me just get one more. I said I was going to stop, but I'm going to get one more. Okay. Also, the wing of the plane jacked up, they're saying. Oh, here's that elephant again. That elephant. Somebody's flying to India or flying from India. Something to do with India. Okay. Jack or John, Jacqueline, or uh, a J name, okay? And then we've got um, a flamingo. So wherever there's flamingos, there might be like an airport, maybe Miami or somewhere where there's flamingos. I have no idea where in the world, I only know Florida, flamingos. Are you meeting someone at a casino? that says something, or somebody drives a flamingo, an old flamingo, or has an old flamingo. Oh, I, did I say casino? And look, I just got, and it just dropped when I picked it up. I got this dollar dollar bills, y'all. Huge, huge amount of money here. Maybe you're going to casino, or you're traveling somewhere, you meet someone, or they fly in to a casino. Maybe this person is one of those names there. For some of you that you're going to connect with this person it'd be interesting very interesting to know how this is going to turn out um you know what maybe i'll leave the comments open but if anybody makes a nasty comment i'm, I'm removing you from my um from my channel permanently <laughs> i mean most of the time they're uh trolls most of the time they're just trolls and i can tell when it's a troll it's not a bot it's a troll um and i just delete them anyway and the bots are the ones that are coming in offering, I don't know if you guys have seen them, but they're offering you guys um, to call a WhatsApp number to try to get your ex back with a magic spell casting kind of thing. And the other one is offering um, OnlyFans sex stuff on the channel. <laughs> they're sending you links. You guys, you're not even kidding. I mean, you guys are all listening to the reading and I'm spending half my day deleting and reporting all this spam most of the time. I don't even have time to read the comments. You have no idea how much spam and trolling has been going on. And there's always upticks of it. And then it dies down and then there's more upticks. YouTube cannot keep up with it. And I don't have anybody else to do it. So please understand why I don't respond. Um, I, I do read the comments, but I try to just, I'm going through a lot of them and just trying to get rid of them because some of them are harassing some of the other people who are leaving the comments, you know, and it's, I don't, you know, I just don't want that crap on my channel. If anybody's going to give any crap, it's going to be me. It's my channel. If you don't like it, get the F out. <laughs> I'm in true Virgo form today. All right, you guys. So that's going to be your reading. I hope that you, I hope that made sense. I'll just tell you that. I just hope it that it made some kind of sense. Um, just listen. My final piece of advice here, when you get these readings... Take it with a grain of salt, you guys, because life is going to have its way, right? If, if someone is meant for you, they're going to show up and there's nothing you could do to stop that, okay? Well, short from shutting the door on their face, but the one who's meant for you will be for you and the one who's not will not. So take the readings with a grain of salt, try to enjoy them, pop in the chat with everybody, chit chat back and forth. Don't be so serious. Just enjoy your life. Be happy. Be happy. Just be happy. All right. I love you guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.